uh, I moved to Minneapolis to uh, um, to study uh, figure painting, and I did uh, uh, I did a year at the atelier, and I did uh, uh, a lot of figure drawing and figure painting, and then I started studying um, uh, plein air painting, landscape painting, with uh, a painter here in St. Paul, Joe Paquette. It was like a Tuesday afternoon and I was out in a field painting and it was this beautiful sunny day and I wasn't in a dimly lit computer room working on some sort of design project that I decided like this is what I want to do. I want to be out in the world painting and uh, not, in a, not in a design studio all day. So, so that was really it and I did a, I remember I still have that painting, it's a horrible painting. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's really bad, but I, was, um, but I was still really excited that day because I, I felt like I'd found something. I'd found what I wanted to do. I've been drawing and painting my whole life as a kid. You know, I used to, uh, um, you know, copy cartoons, that kind of thing, all the kind of things kids do. And uh, uh, when I went to college, I studied uh, painting and uh, and design, graphic design. And just assuming that, uh, I guess I just assumed that I would, to make a living, I would have to do commercial work, and that. Uh, you know, the painting would just have to wait to be a hobby or something I did when I retired. I didn't grow up uh, seeped in this stuff, um, but I was always, somehow I was always interested in it. Uh, you know, I think, uh, I think when I was 12, like I, 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 uh, I told my uh, dad I wanted to go to New York for my birthday. And, uh, and he, sa he said, no, you don't. You know, like that was it. That was the end of that. But somehow I had this idea that I, I, I sh should go to New York and go to the Met, you know, at 12. Yeah, finding a subject matter, it's almost always about the light. So it's the time of day, uh, even on a gray day where there is no um, direct uh, light source, it's uh, trying to find something that's interesting compositionally with uh, patterns of lights and dark, something that'll lead your eye through a scene. Uh, when you first find a place, you always have to be aware of, of what the sun's doing and what it's going to be doing in three hours, because uh, normal length of time to do a uh, to do a painting outside is two to three hours so you have to you know you don't want the shadows to start out on one side of a building and be on the other side of the building by the time you're done so uh, typically you want to start early in the morning or late in the afternoon when uh, the colors a little more intense from the sun and uh, and when the uh, even though the shadows will change the overall light effect is going to be uh, consistent for a uh, for a window that allows you to uh, to keep working on a painting. Really, after you know, after about an hour, you're working from memory. It's uh, it's the, the, what your painting is still in front of you, but you're remembering what it was like when you first set up. Because if you uh, if you keep trying to sort of update the painting as the light changes, then you're just gonna and sort of have a mess on your hands. <laughs> 